Hello, welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robin Sun. Please like and comment and subscribe and share this video with someone who might also like this video. Okay, so we are going to take our painted, scrape painted paper that I showed you in the last video and make a book. So uh, with a rectangular piece of paper, which this is, it's 17 by 20. When I folded it in half and then folded the halves in half, I came up with a rectangular shape to these you know, portions. And I had the, the chance then to choose, did I want this to be the seam and I would have an elongated wide piece of paper? Or did I want to do it like this, where I had pages in the book that were taller than they are wide? And this is what I chose. So that means I have to cut these fold lines, which I will try to do and talk to you at the same time and retain a bit of precision. Um, although these papers being hand scraped you know, and they, like if the papers aren't all that precise themselves. So, um, you know, if I get a little off the edge um, with cutting and gluing, I think we'll be okay. Um, so, I've got... four longish pieces of paper, you know, this, um, and I'm going to need to um, put those together so that I get, because this is going to be an accordion book, um, and I'm going to need to do something to attach this piece of paper with this piece of paper. And the way that I have figured that out before is to cut little skinny uh, strips of paper, fold them in half longwise, and they become sort of the spines of the paper. And with very special paper like this, it would be, there's some decisions to be made um, about what kind of paper to use. I could use a paper that was very contrasting to the whole kit and caboodle. I could, you know, paint a yellow or a cadmium or um, some uh, bronze paper, <coughs> excuse me, or maybe find some greens and blues on the other side. Uh, and so I had some things to think about now. If I put these together, I'm going to have to find a little spine piece for this, and then for this, that's two pieces, and then here. So that's three pieces. Um, and I decided that what I would like to do, and there's also another decision depending upon 
So I scrape painted, obviously, both sides of this paper. So what was once um, just like newsprint weight paper, very thin paper, um, is now going to, uh, has quite a bit more heft because it has acrylic paint on both sides. So acrylic paint is, um, well, you know, a plastic. And so it has, you know, tearing the paper. Um, you would need quite a bit more force if it had didn't have any paint on it. So I've made the paper quite a bit stronger. Anyway, what I decided to do, and I'm, I'm still sort of thinking and planning this out, is that I would take one of the pages and make the book one page shorter. And then I would take this page and cut it into three strips. And those would be my three spines. And I think what I'm going to do is match up the three the three spines to be this on the same like I'm gonna keep the bronze with the bronze and on this side you won't see anything at all because the spine will be on this side of the page the back side so now I just need to decide which which of these little end papers I would like to use. I think I'll not try to mess with that little fold in the paper. But maybe I could use this. This is kind of interesting too, but I think I'll still go with this. There's so much bronze. Anyway, um, which I think I like. So what I'm going to do is cut a little bump of paint there. Cut that and then... Sorry, uh, brain science going here. It's a little tough to think up what to say, which is words are on the um, left side of the brain. Um, <laughs> when my right brain is trying to cut a nice, pretty little cut down the paper. Okay. So let's try to figure this out. This will be... Actually, that's kind of cool because it has... Can you see the little flash of bronze right across there? That might be a good cover. So that could be where we start. There's a little bronze on that too. And here... Actually, I kind of like that rather than having that yellow come down it almost stops your eye but here we've got scrapes kind of bringing you to the edge of the paper and you can kind of begin the book so I like this for the first page so let's go through and uh, begin folding the pages and getting everything in line. 
So there's the first section. And then I can have this be here. Now we need another piece of paper in here. I could paper clip these together so I make sure that I'm staying where I think I am. But I think we're, we're doing okay. So now the accordion goes like this. And we need to cut, fold another piece this way. I wasn't sure whether to fold the piece this way or this way until I got here, but that's working. Isn't that pretty? Juxtaposing that kind of pale sky blue thing. I hope you can see this um, sort of webbing that's going on here. And then the, the orange on top of the blue. It's just really pretty. And we're going to lose that because we are keeping with a theme. I mean, actually, we don't have to lose it. We can decide. Um, we can decide to keep this as the spine or we could decide to fold it the other way and just for fun do that fold it the other way so that we'll keep this I actually kind of like that idea even though it's like it sort of doesn't make sense. I just think this is so pretty right here. So then we will keep the bronze on the inside. And this will be the last page of the book, but having an odd number rather than an even number of pages, because this is the one I cut one side off of, it, it leads you perfectly into doing, into starting the back side of the book. I'll show you in a second. I'm not quite sure of all the words for that. So let's go back here. Let's get out our glue. Of course, okay, here. And I think I've said this before that the, this is just Elmer's glue in this bottle. Um, it's uh, glue all rather than the school glue. The Elmer's school glue is actually a little on the thin and watery side, which might be perfect for school projects. But I find in my studio, uh, it works out a little better for me to use the glue all. Uh, it's just a little thicker and has a little bit more gripping ability. So, 
turn that page and glue here. It's going to be really fun to go through this book and see what's on the front side of all these pages and the back side. So I want to make sure that paper is lining up nicely along the top edge and the bottom edge. And then it goes all the way into the fold. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just noticing that the, the top of the spine and the top of this paper are a little different and the bottom. So this page is a little taller than the spine. I can come in here and trim that off. I'll see what the book looks like as I finish this up. page the spine is about the same size as the page of paper I tried to fold this paper as precisely as I could and clearly I am an imperfect human but this is not one of those, you know, precise bookbinder, finesse kinds of books. And again, I'm lining up the tops and bottoms of the page to make sure that it's, um, sitting where I want it. Look at that lovely swipe down the spine. That's kind of cool. All right, now we lost our pretty spine. All right, this spine is the same size as this paper too so yeah I mean obviously I miscut something somewhere or misfolded or but we'll just live with that we'll call it artistic license I once had an English teacher <laughs> who drew on this paper and made an official poetic license for when we were writing poetry or whatever. And we're, we're taking liberties with making things not necessarily perfect. Amusing guy. I think I know which teacher it was but I'm not really sure. All right, again, lining tops and bottoms so that the accordion doesn't fold in a wonky way. And now we've got that pretty little piece with the pale blue and the orange um, little feathers. So these little feathers um, right here uh, got there, I think, because you know when you roll stuff out with a brayer and then you want to use the 
paint that's on the roller so you roll it somewhere else to get the color off. I think that's what these orange little line things are, is from the brayer. Okay, so here's our book. It's funny, some of these darker stripes of the um, bronze here and there with this obviously very thin, very flat coloring of the yellow and the orange cadmium, I think. Yeah, so look, little red spots there. That's great. And here's that blue. And now we've reached the end of the front of the book and now we get to go into the back of the book. And this has lots of these little um, I can't tell if you can see this little like seaweed lines there and there like when you pull the paint away I think that's from the brayer in here too So this will be fun, putting, you know, little, little cards and markers. I think the blue will work. I think the purple is going to look ridiculous. This, these yellow cards will work really nicely. I don't know what this book will be about. I mean, maybe it'll just be lovely. We could do that and I don't know what kind of cards we've got. We could you know, glue this in like it's a pocket and have some sort of little card go in. And there's that seam and you don't, actually this worked out really well with this yellow stripe here and yellowy orange stripe there. Okay, this worked out really nicely. And I hope I've not used up all the time. <gasps> this looks like a lake, doesn't it? With some mountains and some rocks here in the front. Ugh. So here we are. So that's how you put together one of these scrape painted paper accordion books. And um, you know what? I rarely... I don't think I've actually ever done this before. I wish you a lot of luck and success as you make your book. I wish you success. Great. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye.